good morning students today we are going to see the distorted geometry in the octahedral complexes that is tetragonal distortion of octahedral complexes that is jan teller distortion the irregular geometry which will be occurs in octahedral complexes it is explained by jan and teller and thus it is called as jan teller distortion the regular shape of an octahedral complex is distorted if d orbitals of the central metal ion are not occupied symmetrically because the symmetry of the electrical field is upset this occurs when you have under t2g and eg sets of orbitals that contains the number of electrons which will be neither completely filled nor half filled the set of d orbitals is have the effect of such a lack of symmetry on the geometry of the complex this is known as jan teller effect the jan teller theorem states that any non linear molecular system in a degenerate electronic state will be unstable and will undergo some kind of distortion to lower symmetry remove the degeneracy and lower the energy of the system <clears throat> if the d orbit d electrons are symmetrically arranged with respect to an octahedral ligand field they will repel all six ligands equally and a completely regular octahedral structure will be formed the symmetrical arrangement of d electrons in t2g and eg orbitals in strong and weak crystal field is shown here see if d0 system all orbitals are empty it is symmetrical if d3 system see there are the three electrons in t2g orbitals which are symmetrical and there is no any electron in eg orbital it is also symmetrical see d5 system in weak field each orbital contains one electron and it is symmetrical in case of t2g and eg also d6 system in strong field all electrons will be get pair into the t2g so each orbital have the two electrons in t2g set it is symmetrical eg orbitals having no electrons both eg orbitals are the symmetrical then d8 system either in weak or strong see there are the t2g6 and eg2 that means three t2g orbitals have the two electrons and eg orbitals have the two electrons they are symmetrically filled and last one is the d10 which is the t2g orbitals are completely filled eg orbitals are completely filled and it shows the symmetry and for that we have the examples of that particularly regular octahedral complexes for d0 system d3 system d5 system d6 system in strong field d8 system and d10 system thus with this configuration we have the symmetry and we have the regular octahedral complexes but other than this if there is the irregular or unsymmetrical filling of electrons then that will be results in the distortion and we are going to see that distortion if then it then follows all the other arrangement how unsymmetrical arrangement of electrons see here we have the d4 system this d4 system there is the in weak field see t2g have three electrons and eg have one electrons here t2g orbitals are symmetrically filled but eg orbitals are unsymmetrically filled that means in case of the eg orbitals there is single electron in one orbital and another orbital is empty this filling of electron is unsymmetrical so here eg orbitals that means particularly 
there is b x square y is in and y square d x square minus y square and d z square orbitals they are unsymmetrically filled and it will be affect d7 system in strong field see t2g 6 and eg1 here again t2g orbitals are symmetrically filled and eg orbitals are the unsymmetrically filled we know t2g orbitals are in the plane in the xy plane while eg orbitals are along the xy axis as well as in the z axis then d9 system d9 system in both high spin or low spin that is either strong field or either weak field see t2g6 and eg3 here t2g orbitals are symmetrically filled but eg orbitals are unsymmetrically filled in eg orbitals one orbital have the two electrons and second orbital have the one electron so it is unsymmetrical situation and in that situation with these configuration and respected fields we have the distorted octahedral geometry since the t2g orbitals point in between the ligand direction and symmetric filling of these orbitals has little effect on the stereochemistry in contrast the easy orbitals points exactly at the direction of the ligand and hence unsymmetrical filling of the easy orbitals causes some ligands to be repelled more than the others resulting in the significant distortion of the octahedral shape the two easy orbitals d x square minus y square and d z square are normally degenerate but if one of these orbital is unsymmetrically filled in an octahedral environment this degeneracy is destroyed and the two orbitals are no more equal in energy a pictorial idea can be laid down by considering the examples of Cu2 plus D9 system. <clears throat> the T2G orbitals are full. The lack of symmetry is then caused by incomplete filling of the easy orbitals. The three electrons in easy orbitals may be distributed as Dz square 1 d x square minus y square 2 or d z square 2 and d x square minus y square 1 the symmetrical distribution d z square 2 d x square minus y square 2 would give a regular octahedral complex but d z square 1 d x square minus y square 2 distribution differs by having one electron less than dz square orbital as the orbital is directed along the z axis the ligands on the z axis would be repelled less and drawn in towards if the if it contain only one electron this resulting complex would in this way be slightly distorted having two short bone bonds along the z axis and four longer bonds along the xy axis this figure indicates that these two situation see there is the <coughs> shortening along z axis that is elongation in xy axis and in another there is shortening in xy axis and elongation in z axis these two situations will be explained the how the unsymmetry will be affect if the z d z square orbital is unsymmetrically filled and d x square minus y square orbitals are unsymmetrically filled Alternatively, the electronic arrangement of dz square 1, 
dx square minus y square 1 has the shortage of one electron in the dx square minus y square orbital which is directly along the x and y axis. Thus, ligands along the x and y axis are repelled less. This distortion caused by such an arrangement of the electrons results in the complex with four short bonds in the xy direction and two longer bonds in z axis. When the distortion of electron is dz square 1, dx square minus y square 2 has the repulsion between dx square minus y square 2 electrons and ligands along the x and y axis is more. This should be results in raising of the energy of the dx square minus y square orbital. Instead, the ligands along the x and y axis go away from the metal ion and reduce the repulsion between dx square minus y square and the ligand to such an extent that the dx square minus y square orbital becomes lower in energy than the dz square orbital. The four bonds along the x and y axis becomes longer and two bonds along the z axis become relatively shorter. Alternatively, when the distribution of electron is dz square 1, dx square minus y square 1, the repulsion between dz square 1 electrons and the ligands along the z axis is more. This should be results in raising the energy of the dz square orbital. Instead, the ligands along z axis go away from the metal ion and uh, reducing the repulsion between dz square and the ligands get to such an extent that the orbitals becomes lower in energy than the d x square minus y square 1 orbital. The two bonds along the z axis becomes shorter and four bonds along x and y axis becomes relatively shorter. There is no theoretical way of deciding which of the possible distortion is more likely but the experimental result show that it is the arrangement of four short and two long bonds that is the electronic arrangement dz square 2 dx square minus y square 1 predominates in the crystal of copper second chloride for example each Cu2 plus ion is surrounded by 6 Cl minus ions but 4 of them are at a distance of 0.23 nanometer while the other two are at 0.295 nanometer away. Nickel second chloride has a similar crystal structure but all the 6 Cl minus ions or ligands are equidistant from the central Ni2 plus ion. This is because the Ni2 plus ion with 8 d electrons and has a symmetrical arrangement of electrons so that it forms perfectly symmetrical octahedral complex. See in the figure See, there is the particularly splitting of <coughs> orbitals, ligands on z axis moving out and ligands on z axis moving in for tetragonal distorted octahedral complex. Similarly, copper second chloride has a distorted rutile structure in which 4F ions or ligands are 
वन नाइन थ्री नैनोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम द कॉपर टू प्लस आयन फाइल द अदर टू एफ माइनस आयन्स आर पॉइंट टू टू सेवन नैनोमीटर आए क्रोमियम सेकंड फ्लोराइड इज लाइक कॉपर सेकंड हैविंग डिस्टॉर्टेड रोटाइल स्ट्रक्चर इन विच देर आर फोर सी आर एफ बॉन्ड्स एट टू एंगस्टोन यूनिट एंड टू सी आर एफ बॉन्ड्स एट टू पॉइंट फोर्टी थ्री एंगस्टोन यूनिट्स सच एन ऑक्टाहेड्रॉन इज सेड टू बी टेट्रेगोनली डिस्टॉर्टेड इन फिगर इट इज शो दैट जनरल ऑर्बिटल स्प्लिटिंग डायग्राम इन जॉन टेलर डिस्टॉर्शन जनरली टेन डी क्यू इज very very greater than delta 1 and delta 1 is greater than delta 2 with reference to the above figure energy calculations can be done for the d9 system copper second ion the t2g orbitals are fully occupied the net stabilization due to t2g is zero See here net stabilization energy for T2g is zero. The stabilization energy due to Eg orbital is minus one half delta one, and net stabilization energy for the Eg after calculation it is minus one half delta one. This net energy minus one half delta one is called the John Taylor. stabilization energy and provides driving force for the distortion just as the removal of the degeneracy of 5d orbitals can results in crystal field stabilization further removal of degeneracy of d orbital can result in additional stabilization the john taylor effect is also observed in excited states of some complexes which in their ground state are regular octahedron to illustrate the effect on excited states we may consider the tih2o63 plus fe2o62 plus and coh63 minus the first of these has an excited state configuration eg1 the presence of the simple eg electron causes the excited state to be split and it is this state which account for the broad flat counter of the absorption band of ti h2o6 3 plus in both fe h2o6 2 plus the ground state has the configuration t2g4 eg2 and the excited state with the sum number of unpaired electrons has the configuration t2g3 eg3 thus the excited state of this species are subject to john taylor splitting it brings out the absorption transition and this show two peaks in the absorption spectra of these ions 